everybody. Today we're looking at Hot Toys Groot and Rocket Raccoon from Guardians of the Galaxy. Look at that guy. He's huge. And he's tiny. <clears throat> I believe those are original comic book names. <laughs> huge and tiny. <laughs> uh, quick look at the packaging. We got a picture of the characters on the front here. Guardians G on the back with credits. Uh, the inside is just a window with the character cradle in there and all their accessories. You got all your little spots, you got your little accessories, like a uh, little baby Groot right there for you. And uh, a couple extra hands for Groot. I think these are bendable also. Yeah, they are wireframe. Like wire wire frame, yep, wireframe Ooh. fingers. Ooh, so that's... now Groot can give you the finger. Because everybody was thinking it. Yes. And a screaming Groot head sculpt. Alternate Groot skull. And uh, it also came with... I don't want to take these out because they're hard to see. But you got some uh, Rocket Raccoon uh, feet and hand accessories for just different poses on him and holding his weapons differently and all that type of jazz. So, <clears throat> let's get down to brass tacks. What do we, uh, what do we think of this guy? Um, they're actually amazing. Yeah. Heavy duty. Groot is a heavy duty figure. This is an awesome figure. Uh, tons of detail all on his body here and the paint job, the sculpting, all his little roots and vines and everything. What I liked is exactly what happened right there. <clears throat> when they're starting to move the figure and pose it, they actually have parts of this on like shift plates. Yeah, I saw So that. they can move up and maneuver without... Um, destructing, disturbing mobility. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, and uh, he doesn't even need to stand. Look at that guy. Heavy and I think even dirty figure. I think he even has yeah ankle pivots, so you can even have him like stepping forward, and it won't look off or like his char the character's like balancing awkwardly. <clears throat> yeah, and just the perfect head sculpt. The they just captured the character. Perfectly, and, and I know it sounds so weird because he's just like it's a tree, a CG tree. <laughs> yeah, he's a CG tree, <laughs> but um, it it just looks like the CG trees in my in the in the basement. He he looks great. <clears throat> Good articulation. Uh, got shoulder swivel here, mid chest, head full on a pivot up here. The face comes off on the front, and then the other face attaches. Elbow joints, and then wrist spin pivot, and then the wrist pegs can pop up for other hands. Leg goes forward this far, backward about that far, knees, and then the ankle twist forward and backward rock. The other thing that I like that Hot Toys does with figures that are this big is um, similar to like the Hulk, how they have that like ratchet system because the figures are so heavy that the joints would get loose otherwise yeah so helps hold them in place yeah you know you don't have to worry about the figure ever getting <laughs> loose joints and his arm flailing around you got a tiny little rocket next to him yeah and rocket actually has actual little wire whiskers which is a cool little detail uh, his <laughs> tail just pops on and off on this little plug here and that has articulation to pose up and down left and right uh, his, his legs are a little touch and go because of the way he has to stand, and I get like just for because of raccoon feet, they're mm -hmm. tiny. So you're gonna need to stand for him, or lean him against Groot, or have him standing on Groot's shoulder or something. <clears throat> Can um, you use his tail to counterweight him at all? I, or is it? It's not long enough to like touch the ground. Okay. To like keep him balanced this way. Mm, nope. Yeah, this looks like a break dance fighting. <laughs> The tail's not long enough to reach the ground back here, so you can't use that. Um, let's get this gun out of his hand here. Go look at articulation. This gun is actually awesome too. Tons of detail on this gun. Yeah, I like how there's even like some scorching on the front. Everything. Dirt and grime all over it. Uh, Rocket's head, full 360, forward, back. Uh, tail spins all the way around, pops on and off. Uh, shoulders all the way around, forward and back, in and out, just on a little ball joint. 
Elbows down, <clears throat> up. Wrist spin and twist in and out. Uh, a little restricted on the midsection torso articulation because of the the one piece jumpsuit and then his like harness apparatus thing mm-hmm. he has on. Legs go back a little bit like that. He has some slight knee articulation, but the suit kind of hinders that a little. Uh, they don't go forward very much because of the suit again. And then ankle pivot is limited, but you really just need him to hold his gun and look angry. Yep. He wants that metal arm. <clears throat> <laughs> Paint job on Rocket is also really cool. His suit's kind of like got some dirt and grime on it up close when you see it. Uh, good detail, a little shine on the eyes to make those look lifelike. Uh, they come with a, both of them come with like a basic stand that like Star Lord and the other Guardian figures come with. It just looks like a graded floor, as so you can have them all standing together. Uh, I got a little potted Baby Groot accessory. No articulation on that. He's just a little stiff plastic. You can pose him with a rocket or have rocket holding statue. him. Statue. And then, uh, like we were talking about earlier, with changing up Groot's head sculpts, you just kind of have to pull forward on this, <clears throat> and now you have that one, and you just, like that, and now you got Angry Groot. Angry Groot. Angry Groot. Oh my god. And Baby Groot's down. Baby Groot. <laughs> he gone! <clears throat> you could have Rocket kind of like standing up on his shoulders up here or something. <laughs> Just like that, folks. There he is. Uh, Groot also did come with uh, a couple different hands, like we said earlier. The, the wireframe hands are a nice touch. And then the hand that he, like at the end of the movie when he kind of illuminates hand and starts, glowing starts and to glow. Spores and Spores come out. Yep. Uh, it's a pretty cool little feature. They kind of did like a... Cast in like a translucent plastic yep. with a paint job over it. Yep. And uh, I mean, it'd be kind of cool if they had a... LED or something that could have illuminated it, but yeah. I'm sure if you were ambitious enough, you could find a way to make it light up. Uh, but no, it was a cool little detail they <laughs> brought in with the figure. Um, any other thoughts on these guys? You can measure them, because they're not the usual Hot Toy 1-6 scale guys. Rocket standing flat is just a hair over six inches. He seems so small. <laughs> what is he? Just over six inches. Really? So that's like a standard Black Series figures? Around that size, yeah. Really? That seems, that seems really small. Oh, God. <laughs> it's about 15 and a half inches. Okay. <laughs> that makes way more sense. 21 and a half. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, my God. Uh, what do you pay for this guy? <laughs> uh, these guys came in the two pack, and I don't believe you can buy them separate from this series anyway. I don't know if Guardians Two had a separate release Guardians Two for them. Um, well, because there's not there's not a group. There's Guardians a baby two, group. There's a baby group. Uh, I think Guardians Two Rocket retails for like two hundred, two hundred four. Um, I think we touch base on this in one of our earlier reviews but the Guardians 2 figures all the hot toys come with different baby groups mm-hmm. they have like one that has like his arms outstretched and his fingers are all long they have one that's like waving and dancing um, so yeah you don't got to worry about buying a group for Guardians 2 nope. but you can buy a Yondu Uh, anyways, uh, let us know what you guys want us to review. Feel free to shout out in the comments. Uh, throw us a like, a subscribe, anything like that. And um, just remember, I am Groot. <laughs> <laughs>